Good afternoon, Greenfield. It's Miss Godette, the art teacher at the middle school. And I want to share a project with you you can do at home with unconventional art supplies you may have in your kitchen or you may find outside. The artist that inspired this project is named Giuseppe Acrimboldo. He's Italian. He was born in 1527 and he died in 1593. I'm going to attempt to show you one of his images online in a second. Now you might notice off to the side here, a picture of a man. That's a portrait he did of himself. That's a self-portrait. And Acrimbaldo was an excellent portrait artist. He was actually a painter. And he was a little unusual because here's an example of a painting he did of a man with crazy wild hair. And from a distance, it just looks like a portrait. However, when you get up close, you find out that the entire painting is made up of fruits and vegetables like pears and apples, cucumbers, and sometimes flowers. I see some cherries in there too. Now, he's pretty wild and I kind of like him but also find his art weird and sometimes a little unsettling. But I decided to create my own version and here I have it. Not nearly as complicated as his, as you can see, but I had fun. I happen to have a lot of bouquets in my house because I love flowers. So I used these daisies or mums for eyes and I added raisins to be the pupils. Took the leaves for eyebrows. That fuzzy stuff for hair is actually fresh dill because as I mentioned last week, I've been making a lot of soup cooking at home. I love to cook and bake. And I used some of the dill for his little goatee. I used the leaves from the mums for his mustache, red potatoes for cheeks, and I implied his ears with cashews. I did try originally using a garlic bulb for a nose and didn't seem to work. I like the banana better. So folks, I'd love to see the solutions you come up with. And again, if you want, take a photo and send it to my school address at kar. G-A-U-1 at G-P-S-K-12 dot O-R-G. Remember, stay safe, stay home, make art.